Hello, my dear students. Welcome to Clarity for you. Today in this session, we will discuss about the Swamitva scheme. All right. So we have already achieved five years of successful implementation of Swamitva scheme. And today in this session, we will analyze the scheme was launched on 24th of April, 2020. All right. So now it is already five years. So we will discuss the, in, the achievement of this scheme and wh why this scheme is very much important in order to uplift the rural India, in order to uplift the rural India, in order to uh, bring the rural population into mainstream financial system of our country, that uh, providing them financial assistance in respect of the land that they have, land property, right? So Swamitva scheme towards an Aath Nirvar Bharat. We have a target to achieve an Aath Nirvar Bharat and independent Bharat, okay? Self-reliant bar Bharat, Aath Nirvar Bharat with Swamitva schemes. It provides what the features of this scheme. What does this Swamitva scheme provide? Swamitva. Swamitva means the ownership. Swamitva means the ownership. So it provides the ownership right to the people with, with respect to their lands that they are holding actually. It provides the record of rights in the form of property card, in the form of property card that is available in DigiLocker as well to the village household owners possessing house in inhabited rural areas, means Abadi areas where the uh, population are actually residing. So providing them property card for the house uh, to the households which are possessing the lands. All right in inhabited rural areas. Second one, it enables the rural citizen to use their property as a financial asset, as a, as a part of collateral in order to take the loans from the financial institutions, right? Third one, the creation of accurate land records helps the government of India, helps the rural department to plan out for rural mapping, to plan out the lands uh, using the drone technology and accordingly the, the rural Ministry, Ministry of Rural Development would come with further uh, like schemes, projects in those rural areas to provide maximum benefit to the rural population of our country. Okay, so these are the key objective behind uh, such type of scheme, behind Swamitva schemes. All right, see, Prime Minister Mr. Narendra Modi has also told the country is determined to make the village and the poor self reliant to realize the potential of India. If the villages of our country would become the self-reliant, then only we will achieve the goal of Aat Nirvar Bharat, that is self-reliant India. The role of Swamitva scheme is very high for accomplishment of this resolution. Okay. Now, coming to the uh, uh, introduction part of this Swamitva scheme, that when it is launched, launched on 24th of April 2020 on National Panchayati Raj Day. On National Panchayati Raj Day. So, we can say the nodal agency, the implementing, implementing agency here, it is Ministry of Panchayati Raj, MOPR, Survey of India, National Informatic Center Services that is located in Karnataka. Okay, so these are the implementing agencies to implement this Swamitva schemes. And here the property of rural areas, the rural residential properties will be tracked using drone-based technology. Using drones, the property will be tracked and accordingly it will be mapped Accordingly, it will be mapped and the property card, property card will be issued through that particular owner. All right. In order to reduce the disputes as well. So the rationale behind this Swamitva scheme, that what is the reason, what is the logic that this Swamitva scheme got implemented? See, we have after, after independence, we have very limited surveys of land and it is actually concentrated for the agricultural land only. So we are excluding the inhabited area, the Abadi-based area, where the population actually resides. Those lands were not being surveyed post-independence. Therefore, it is one of the reasons that such a scheme should came for the inhabited areas. The land should be surveyed. Second one, lack of official record led to land disputes. If officials won't have uh, the uh, land records, then obviously it is going to lead to land disputes among various parties, right? Financial exclusion. Financial exclusion means people cannot take uh, loans against property. Okay, they are excluded from that. 
after having a proper property card after having the land records they can avail the loans from institutional banking system all right then under utilization of property assets the third reason swamitva bridges this gap by providing record of rights to actual land owners so record of ror record of rights should be provided to actual land owners these are three key reasons behind the implementation of swamitva scheme all right so here it is panchayati raj institutions ministry of uh, survey of india and nic uh, these are the three implementing agencies of swamitva scheme just remember the implementing agency there is no any one implementing rather it is it has three implementing agencies now coming to the key objective part of this scheme the objective obviously we have discussed providing legal ownership to the villagers financial empowerment via via access to loans they will be provided loans they can guarantee be loans from the banks property card are used as a source to get the bank loans means of reduction in property related disputes if you have a proper land record if you have registered record of rights ror then the this land dispute would get reduced means to determine the property tax gram panchayat can also determine the property proper and uh, like logical property tax over the lands that is the possessed by the rural inhabitants then installing nationwide network for station for mapping and location services aiding people to prepare uh, in preparation of quality gram panchayat development plan gram panchayat development plan if we have a proper land records land surveys then only uh, it will assist the people to develop proper planning at gram panchayat level enable efficient rural planning by creation of accurate land records obviously government of india after surveying the things after getting the proper land record they can also implement some sort of policies some schemes for that particular village or that particular rural areas right so you can see here the components of the scheme as well the drone based mapping is there continuous operation operating reference stations is there okay in order to uh, maintain the geo tagging the things in order to maintain the land records and all property card insurance gram mitra app in order to integrate it get integrated with gram panchayat development plans gpdp right then digi locker you can access your property card using digi locker and online monitoring dashboard is there in order to track the things at real time basis right so these are some of the components this with respect to swamitva schemes and objects objectives of swamitva scheme is listed down here all right now coming to the next slide you can see here the achievement till april 2025 it was there highlighted in the pib itself that you can see here pib that the achievement highlighted by swamitva schemes so property card how much property card got did issue till now 2.42 crore see the numbers in just 5 years 2.42 crore property card has been issued means the owners the real owners of that land they got a property card they got the ownership right over their lands across how many villages 1.61 lakh villages 2.42 crore property card across 1.61 lakh villages okay villages surveyed by drones nearly 3.20 lakh 3.20 lakh villages being surveyed by the drones and see here how much area is being covered how much area is being mapped you can say at real time basis 68122 square kilometer has been mapped all right so these are some of the key achievements of swamitva scheme in the last 5 years this in the last 5 years the budget allocation for this scheme is 566.23 crore for financial year 2223 1.50 crore 500 to 600 drone teams and 2000 skilled personnel deployed means somewhere it is going to uh, it is generating employment as well in drone the one who is ex uh, who got expertise in drone they got employment as well in this scheme all right now coming to the how this scheme how this swamitva scheme is going to impact the things at social as well as economic level so social you can see here dispute dispute resolution if you have proper uh, property card then the dispute obviously the disputes for the property would get reduced then financial inclusion means economic impact you can access the credit you can avail the loans from the proper banking institution 
proper formalized institutions okay through against the rors right against the property cards improved planning gis enabled data for better village infrastructure planning social impact enhanced local governance obviously socially these point these three points are socially impacting and financial inclusion how it is economically impacting the this scheme is economically impacting the rural india mass, masses right globally it is being recognized you can see at various platform international workshop platform held in march 2025 india international trade fair and global countries are also showing interest that india can become a model for land governance reform in various parts of our country basically in rural areas of our country so india can be a model that how to geotag the things how to map the lands to the proper uh, how to issue the property cards collaborating the things with the gram panchayat development plans okay and so india can be a front runner with respect to land governance in their country and it can be used as a model to other uh, other uh, like developing and uh, third world countries right see the impact before and after swamitva before we don't have proof of ownership so informal possession is there bank uh, lands were informally being possessed now after the swamitva legal property card has been issued means formally you are possessing earlier the one has to depend upon the informal money lenders and they are paying an exorbitant rate of interest for the over the lended money and after the swamitva schemes the they can have the access with the institutional bank credit dispute resolution frequent land conflicts were there but through after this swamitva the reduction we can see a significant reduction in disputes right and tax collection would also improve at the gram panchayat level because they can proper they can access the property tax all right on the basis of the property cards on the basis of the lands that any individual is holding all right so these are some of the benefits after the implementation of swamitva scheme see here the technological platform it's a centralized online planetary systems where you can access your card through the digital digi locker systems open the digi locker sign sign up the kyc norms through aadhar you can also sign up then select the data it will be passed then the property card here the name would everything will be displayed then citizens fill the additional data like mobile otp and all in order to download the property cards all right so through a uh, digi locker they can uh, do it right conclusion mein we can see here swamitva scheme is transformational land reform that promotes a self reliance legal empowerment and economic inclusion in rural indias it aligns with the vision of atmanirbhar bharat gram swaraj offering a replicable model for other nations as well all right and in the next phase that is fy 26 will build upon current success to achieve the universal land governance in our country okay so in conclusion part we can write these things all right so it is a like a ground breaking platform means a very transformational land reform this swamitva scheme so you can use this swamitva schemes as an example while writing your descriptive answers in various examination all right you can put this step in this scheme while addressing the question with respect to land reforms while addressing the questions with respect to rural disputes means socially financial in fact in financial empowerment also you can use this question in this example in your answer swamitva so, that how it is financially empowering the rural india okay so it has various dimensions you can use uh, in various places now at last i am providing you five questions and i want each and every one who is who whomsoever is attending this session to answer the question even if you know the answer then also just move your fingers to type the answers that was the correct option of different questions right now the first question which of the following portal is directly integrated with the swamitva scheme to improve the panchayat level governance you need to uh, answer the real uh, mark the real option then which of the following is correct full form of swamitva scheme this you need to know the correct full form of swamitva scheme then how does swamitva scheme portal uh, scheme support the financial inclusion in rural india how it is going to support the financial inclusion in rural indias 
which government agency is responsible for conducting drone surveys under the swamitva schemes and which of the following is not a primarily primary objective of swamitva scheme that also you need to answer through the given answers all right so that's all for today my dear aspirants now at last rbi mentorship and testis program we are already conducting at c4s platform you can visit our website c4s courses courses dot in there you can find this course and this is a complete course covering your whether it is rbi grade b examination or grade a examination let's see after the notification it will cover it will fulfill the need of either of the examination by covering the each and every part of your syllabus for phase 1 as well as phase 2 by providing you continuous test series program for phase 1 as well as phase 2 apart from the sectional test and providing you weekly current affairs analysis which is purely based upon the newspaper analysis apart from the uh, apart from providing pdf materials for the miscellaneous news for the miscellaneous news for your other examination yeah. also apart from rbi right so these are the things we are providing and obviously the mentorship support if you have any sort of queries regarding this program you can contact on this number all right in order to get assisted from us all right thank you very much that's all for today bye bye take care see you soon.